This video has been sponsored by the website www.isoclassifieds.com. This is Gabrielle Talker here to finish up with my review of Matt Smith's poem that I did back in 2016. Now, since the election has ran its full course, I can continue with the review of this poem. Well, I did a review of the first half of it in this video here, and it seems to be proven correct. But the second half that I'm getting ready to cover, not so much. So now I have to complete the review of the rest of the poem. So this is where I left off. Barack Hussein Obama will stay seated in his chair. No Democrat or Republican will ever find themselves nestled there. This is where I left off with the first review of the first half of this poem. Well, as we all witnessed on January 20th, 2017, that this part of the poem definitely did not come to pass because a Republican, which we now refer to as President Donald J. Trump, sits right in that seat now as the 45th president so after witnessing this i was not sure if i should even review the rest of the poem but someone had sent a message to me that others had very similar prophecies of obama staying in office like glenda jackson she even believed that Obama would remain president. What has God shown you that will happen in the future? He showed me that if Christians don't start praying more than they ever have, even the churches become the house of prayer. This next election, presidential election, election is uh, not going to take place that it's going to be suspended because evil's going to arise and uh, some disasters are going to happen and some things are going to be put in place and the president's not going to be removed. He's going to stay in and uh, these things are going to happen and they're going to be very bad if we don't get a hold of God. But it was one very, very important statement in her prophecy that was if the saints did not start praying like never before, President Barack Obama would not be removed. He would stay in. Of course we know there's been loads of anti-Trump protests, which didn't work, never work. We know about the election recount that Jill Stein was trying to push, which didn't work. Then it was the petition for Hillary Clinton stating that she won the popular vote in highly populated areas while Donald Trump won the popular vote overall throughout the United States. So the petition didn't work either. And then there was the Russian hacking accusation where Obama called for an investigation of Russian hacking interference with the election of 2016. So, oh, I guess all of these things were designed to bring Donald Trump down, but none of them worked. I guess these things were designed to keep Obama in office, but it did not work. So, oh, when it comes to Matt Smith's poem, I found that the first half of it was proven correct. But when it got to the part of Obama, when it says this, 
Barack Hussein Obama will stay seated in his chair. No Democrat or Republican will ever find themselves nestled there. I understand it as it was a warning more than anything else. And I believe that the Saints did what they had to do to put a halt to what was coming. Like Glenda Jackson said, If Christians don't start praying more than they ever have, even the churches become the house of prayer because evil's going to arise and uh, some disasters are going to happen and some things are going to be put in place and the president's not going to be removed. He's going to stay in. And uh, these things are going to happen and they're going to be very bad if we don't get a hold of God. So I believe the saints did what they needed to do and went into prayer. Even Donald Trump, we saw that he even went into prayer and he was reported to have been seen at church on a regular basis. It was also reported that he was at church right before the inauguration on January 20th. So it appears that Donald Trump was doing what he was supposed to do. I know some would say, what about his things that the protesters are accusing him of things alleged horrible tweeting but everyone has flaws no one is perfect i would say all you can do now is just pray for him because the protesting is not working and somebody had sent me a message asking if i'm gonna call out matt smith as a false prophet no because i am not his judge and it seemed like a lot of others had the same prophecy it's just that it seems as though the saints were called to prayer to prevent a disaster from happening and this is what i believe but i am not the only one that believes this like this email that was sent to me for an example stated that rather than a prophecy it seems that it was a warning so they are saying that the poem was a warning rather than a prophecy or a prophecy that would happen if the saints did not start praying. But some still do believe that Obama will play an important role in the future. In 2015, I did a video cartoon animation of an Israeli boy that had a real-life near-death experience and said Obama would start a war and send his army to Israel but he never specified what army and from where but for Obama to send his army means that he would be in charge of that army some people believe that in some way Obama will return back the power of some sort. On change.org, there's a petition for Obama to run for Speaker of the House for 2018. This role is positioned by the Constitution for the Speaker to be third in power. That is, if anything happens to the President and Vice President, God forbid, and that I do not wish, the Speaker would take the role of president. So there's another conspiracy that's floating around out there about Obama is that he'll take the position eventually as Lord of the world. And here's why. There's a suspicion that Pope Francis may be pushing for the narrative of the book Lord of the World to become a true life reality. It is a novel that was written back in 1907 by Robert Hugh Benson and it focuses on the reign of the Antichrist. Now, this novel has been called prophetic by other popes and Pope Francis recommended for people to read this book, Lord of the World. 
rather than the Bible, but yet he recommends for everyone to read this book. It tells a story about a U.S. Senator that becomes Lord of the World. Many believe that it may be Obama that they are pushing to fulfill this book as a prophecy. It may be possible that Obama may try to come back to leadership in some way or another. And on January 20th, 2017, the Obamas stated on Twitter that they will be back. In what way? Now that remains a mystery, but this is what Michelle Obama tweeted. After an extraordinary eight years, I'll be taking a break. We'll be back before you know it to work with you on the issues we care about. And this is what Obama tweeted. Hi, everybody. Back to the original handle. Is this thing on? Michelle and I are off on a quick vacation. Then we'll get back to work. Hmm, I don't get it. It's almost as if the Obamas are in denial. Like they're planning to come back to their jobs or I, I don't get it I mean what president and first lady ever came back like did the Carters come back did the Reagans come back did the Bushes come back no the answer is no none of the former presidents ever came back so why would the Obamas be tweeting that they're coming back to get back to work so it makes you really wonder so this is gabby ray talker and this concludes my review on matt smith poem post-election prophecy news and conspiracy come check out my social networks and come see me at www.isoclassifieds.com thanks for watching Bye bye